This is the Exco Mini, a compact programmable quadruped robot with onboard AI capabilities. It has 12 degrees of freedom with high positional accuracy and well, I am a complete beginner when it comes to robotics and programming, especially when it comes to stuff like object and face detection. But could Exco be the perfect educational platform to learn this on? Let's get started. How's it going guys, Angus here from Make His Muse. Before we begin, I need to state that Luwu Intelligence Technology, the company behind this little thing, has opted to use Kickstarter for launch. I've discussed the risks of crowdfunding before, but please be aware that campaigns can go wrong and pre-production units such as this can be different to what you receive should you back the project. I've reached out to some contacts in Shenzhen who have given me confidence in the project and what I've seen so far is incredibly impressive, but I'm not responsible should you decide to back it and something happens. With that out of the way, let's check out its features. Luwu is launching two platforms at the same time, the Exco Mini, this robot here, and the Exco Lite, a lower cost quadruped with lower torque motors and lacking the AI module that I think makes this platform so interesting. So just be aware of that, I'm only discussing the Exco Mini in this video. Out of the box, this thing is really impressive. It feels solid with a folded aluminium construction, clean wire routing, and thoughtful design details such as the rubberized leg ends. The little feet seem to be SLS nylon, and are honestly the only cue that this thing isn't full production. It's nicely put together indeed. In the box, there was a simple quick start guide with specs, an 8.4 volt charger with a barrel jack, and a micro USB cable for programming the Kendrite K210 processor. The platform is powered on and off through the single large button and has a really nice pre-programmed startup motion, but you do need to be quite careful to position the joints correctly because they're actually really powerful and you don't want to get your fingers pinched. Although it might not look like it at first glance, the Exco Mini is actually two separate systems working together. The platform itself, which can be controlled over Bluetooth, with the dedicated app or with serial commands and the AI module up front, which is a fully fledged development platform in its own right and controls the robot using those aforementioned serial commands. To start with, I'll focus on the robot platform. Remote control over Bluetooth is surprisingly decent this early in the development stage with their app already up to version 2.2.2, Android only at this stage. And currently you can make the Exco run through a range of pre-programmed movements in performance mode, such as shake or pee. Michael Reeves would be proud. You can control walking in any direction or combination thereof at a variety of speeds, as well as adjust the robot's stance or the joints independently in servo mode. Speed is actually pretty impressive for such a small thing, but it's very surface dependent. I found that it works best on flat hard surfaces such as concrete, and it works okay on short carpet. Just don't go expecting the Exco Mini to handle the great outdoors. The legs get stuck way too easily, even on short grass, and it doesn't have the ability to recover if it gets undone in this mode. Although many of these demo modes don't take advantage of it, the core drive board is equipped with a nine axis IMU, allowing it to respond to environmental changes in real time. I actually found it particularly fascinating, telling it to walk in a direction and then picking it up and turning it around only for it to reject my suggestions and continue in the original direction. Without something like LiDAR or lasers for environmental mapping, it won't be perfect, but it's pretty dang impressive for a gyro and accelerometer combo. It can also read joint position and adapt to external force and adjust to target posture of hand motion so that it can deliver demo teaching. I think they're saying the joints are compliant and you can train them, but I don't know much about that and I haven't been able to test it. So that's the robot platform, but it's the integration of an AI module that makes this much more interesting than most other programmable walking robots. In the AI module, you'll find a Kendrite K210 chip designed for basic computer vision and machine learning, and it does it all on board. There's no cloud processing required. It's all self-contained. My review unit came loaded with quite a few demos, ranging from face detection, to hand detection, to 
mask detection, and then whatever this is. <laughs> The AI module on its own is pretty interesting, and after some digging, it seems it's made by Coco Robo, who seem to focus on electronic modules for STEM. I'm not sure what the relationship is between both companies, or if they're one and the same, or collaborating, but it's pretty well refined, which is refreshing for a crowdfunding campaign. However, don't expect blazing fast performance from this. The frame rate is quite low depending on what you're trying to do. It has a 0.3 megapixel camera, which is super grainy, especially under poor artificial light. You can make various adjustments to it, of course, and it's still very usable. But for example, with face detection, it would sort of struggle, and then you could send the platform into an endless loop where it would find your face, move up to greet you, and then lose it in the process, and just repeat. I'm an amateur, so I'm not sure if that's normal or not for this kind of thing, but I thought it was worth noting nonetheless. So, demos are fun. However, the real value of a platform like this comes from what you want to do with it and how friendly that process is. So, let's program it. Considering I'm at the programming level of a child, I figured it would make sense to use the Coco Robo code Blockly site they linked me, which is a brick-based programming interface that's specifically configured to suit the AI module and Exco platform. It's a little bit um, rough currently and very slow to load, but does have a lot of good examples to reverse engineer and figure out. And as you assemble your program, it shows the resulting Python script, which I found helpful in figuring out what code blocks did what. But the integration between the AI module and the core drive board is rough. Uh, I was incredibly confused why I couldn't just make the platform walk forwards and backwards at the same speed before one of my mates who does this kind of thing as a job pointed out that the speed and direction was dictated by a value between 0 and 255. So like 0 is full reverse and 255 is, two is full forwards. Same goes for turning on the spot or strafing. So some people with experience would say like, well, yeah, duh, but I was unsure if it was a distance measurement or if I had to put a negative value for a reverse. Again, very much amateur, but it needs to be made more clear in my opinion, but that's fairly easy to remedy. My main concern is for the control implementation because look at these serial write commands to do said movements. Good luck figuring out what they all mean. A library is needed urgently. My much more experienced friend had this to say about it, but again, this is a pre-release unit currently in the crowdfunding stage. The fact it works at all and isn't totally faked in the promo video like most tech, tech products that are crowdfunded is a huge achievement. So well done to the team for that. Just please don't leave it here. It has to be improved for release. After a bit of tinkering and butchering an existing object tracking demo, I managed to make the Exco walk towards yellow objects like this duck and it works pretty well. When ideas finally work, it actually makes you want to keep learning, and I found it pretty addictive. So I can see this being really attractive for education and for making otherwise boring code come to life. Finally, I want to touch on the hackability of the Exco Mini, because if they make those serial commands a little bit more friendly, you could plug whatever you want into it to control it. But the platform overall isn't really designed for custom sensors or hardware currently. Personally, I'd like to see some unused tapped holes scattered around the chassis and a way to plug external hardware into the onboard battery so you could slap on robot arms, ultrasonic sensors, laser guided turrets. Yeah, make it that kind of robot dog. That would make it really interesting and much more of a hackable learning platform than in its current form. There's also the possibility of swapping out the Kendrite K210 for the newer and much more powerful K510, which is something I've seen thrown around on the Kickstarter campaign a bit, and the Luwu team have mentioned the possibility in future of an Ultra version using that chip, but there is nothing concrete as of yet. At a Kickstarter price of $600 US and a launch estimate of around $1,100, it's no cheap toy by any means. But it's reasonably priced considering the capabilities I've seen compared to other robotics platforms of this caliber. And as a total beginner, I didn't find it too intimidating to use, which I was really concerned about, which means it could be a solid investment for a teenager showing interest in code and robotics. 
However, there is also a lot here for more advanced users. The motion components they've used are really quite good. And there's a lot you can do with this beyond the demos and brick based coding environment that I've explored. I just feel they need to urgently improve those serial commands with at least some kind of cheat sheet or library so you know what they all mean. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing how that develops in future. You can find the campaign link below and full disclosure, Luwu Intelligence sent me the Exco Mini free of charge for purpose of review. I get to hold on to it for as long as I like and to do whatever I want with it, but no money has changed hands and no copy approval was given. Kickstarter campaigns do carry risk, so don't back with money you can't afford to possibly lose, but I don't get any scammy vibes from the team. If you enjoyed this video, then maybe consider subscribing to Makers Muse, where it's my aim to empower your creativity through technology, and I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.